you may have heard of Launchbox. It's a great emulator front end for organizing all of your different games uh, from you know, different retro platforms. I think one of the underrated features about Launchbox is the ability to link up to most popular PC gaming storefronts and then load in all those games to have them from one place. I know some of the other platforms do offer this, um, like GOG, I think you can connect some of connect them and Steam, you can add non-Steam games, but this does it pretty quickly and automatically. And then you're not handing data about your other platform usage to one of the platform holders. They want that data. Um, you know, it's, it, it, that's just the reality of, of kind of the situation at this, this point. So uh, Launchbox, um, I haven't gotten much targeting marketing from them. So I don't think they're taking the information in your library uh, and using that to market to yet. But either, I mean, who knows at this point. So you can kind of see down here at my pin taskbar, uh, I've got Xbox app, Steam, Epic Games, GOG, Amazon Games, uh, EA, and the Microsoft Store also pinned. You will also notice that I don't have Ubisoft pinned. Like, you, I don't have mental capacity to keep that uh, constantly viewable. But here is my current setup with Launchbox with all of my different PC games. Um, I think this is a another good reason to have this is sometimes like something will go on sale on one platform and I'm like, do I really own that? And the truth is, like, if I'm not going to play something, I should probably not buy it. But that wouldn't have. I mean, I'm 2,800 games deep here. I'm a digital hoarder, clearly. Um, you'll notice some of these games are missing metadata, and I'll show you how to do that, how to kind of fix that later. But I think this is really cool. Um, I can go up to, you know, I, I see I have two copies of Call of the Sea. I can see one is from uh, Steam and one is from Epic Games. Um, you know, there is an opportunity. You can hide duplicates if you want. I, I don't want that. Um, but you can have everything in one place and then uh, play it. Or if it's not, um, if it's not installed, <laughs> gosh, I keep a lot of things installed. Uh, it'll have an install button, and then that'll launch that launcher, and it'll it'll get that downloaded for you. So, let I've got a uh, I'm gonna finish up an install over here, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll show how we start from from the beginning. All right, so when you open Launchbox for the first time, you'll get a notification that we've imported. Um, they've imported uh, all your games from these storefronts. Um, if you, you can undo that, disconnect those. Um, you'll also notice that uh, in a second, um, a banner will drop over here and it'll start talking about it, how it's downloading the metadata for these games or you'll see metadata starting to pop in but it's only loading in the games that i have installed right now if i want to have all of my games um even ones i have not installed uh visible i'll show you how to do that see 1179 what kind of crazy person has 1200 games installed on their computer this kind of crazy person so we'll go to manage storefronts. And so when you open the manage storefronts, um, you'll see that for each of these storefronts, there's the opportunity to uh, show installed games or show all games. So it says requires login. So uh, let's start with, let's go with GOG. So we'll click login. Gosh, what's my no, it looks like that one, like it remembered. And then we'll go to Epic Games. We'll change that to all games. This might be a little more complicated. There we go. So I'll blur out my email address. You know they say never tell anybody this code, so I guess you probably shouldn't put it on YouTube. and then it shows as Epic is connected. All the other ones are gonna be those logins. Uh, the Ubisoft Connect is, um, that requires, you have to have Ubisoft Connect installed. Um, some of the other ones, you don't even have to have the, the 
launcher itself involved installed um the one downside with the microsoft uh connection is if you've acquired something through game pass and it's no longer on game pass it will probably show up in your library so you might need to delete that manually that is a, a downside um steam is slightly more complicated so we'll go to it it requires more than a login so we'll say login and so then you have to pull your custom url and api key so your custom url is um is not necessarily your username, but possibly the name you used to sign up years and years and years ago. Uh, your API key. So we'll go grab this. So this is blurred out, obviously, but we're uh, but you're going to grab that and and paste it in here. One thing to do while you have that window open is go to your profile. And you're going to have to set everything to uh, to public. Um, not everything to public, but if you want your games to load properly, um, you're going to want to set uh, most stuff to public. Game details, um, uh, game details in my profile to public. So we'll hit OK over here. And it looks like we have a green dot with Steam. So let's close this, and we'll go to Tools. So, oh yeah, though. So we'll go to tools, go to scan, and go to scan for storefront games. So you can see it went from 1179 to 2289 is the number of games. You see a lot of these are missing metadata. And even after it automatically downloads metadata, you still might be missing some. So let's go to my other instance of Launchbox. So here in my other instance of Launchbox, uh, you can see uh, 2840 of 2840 total games. Um, you can see that all of these have metadata. You can see there's there's duplicates. If you want to get rid of a duplicate, all you need to, to do is um, you can go edit and delete. It won't delete the game from your, from your actual library. It'll just delete it from this front end. Um, you can see that, let's see, let's find a game that's missing metadata. I think it was. OK, so for whatever reason, Downwell is missing its media. So we'll, we can go into Edit, Edit Metadata and Media, go down to Images, Download Media. and choose which media you want to install. I'm not real picky about safe space, so I kind of like just let let it grab everything. Uh, if you have an if you use MU movies, I highly recommend getting downloads from there as well. Click download. And now you see the media. You hit okay, and when you reload this, there you go. Uh, you can also do that in bulk by selecting multiple games, go to download, update metadata and media for selected games. So you can go to this, select which, if you want to prioritize stuff from the store, select what you want to use, click, you know, uh, and then, um, and just down, use this to download uh, any missing fields is usually what I would do, selecting this option. Uh, you can also do a full refresh and replace all existing. Um, or you can have it just not update any games that have existing metadata. So that's one way of doing that. But anyway, like I mentioned, I think this is a really great way of, um, <laughs> I don't know, it's really sad to say this out loud, but like preventing you from buying duplicates um, during these like holiday sales. Um, a lot of these duplicates I have because of bundles or they're free on Epic Game Store or free on GOG with the Twitch subscription. Uh, I do love a good bunch of digital hoarding. So anyway, um, that is all of today's video. I highly recommend using um, Launchbox for this. It's a great way of organizing it if you're a big digital hoarder like me. So with that, have a great rest of your day.